Well, this is my review of the five gallon API Kirk Samson stacker. Uh, later on in the video, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, clean it and how to prepare the water that you put in it and then how to actually use it. And I have a lot of tips for that. So, uh, so be sure to watch that. And also at the very end of the video, I'm going to be uh, responding to one of the most frequently asked questions regarding storing water and then provide an alternative uh, to using canisters. Now we have 24 of these in our garage and uh, we used to have a 260 gallon tank and I got rid of it years ago because it bulged on the side and it was just inconvenience. It was an inconvenience to have to get the water and bring it in the house. You couldn't take it anywhere. It wasn't portable. These are portable. You can take these camping. If you have to bug out in your car, you can take it with you. Um, you know, so they're just, this is a lot more convenient. And you'll notice that there's a raised portion here. It's like a, a U shape. And then on the back side, an indent. And that's, be, that's, be, that's what makes it stackable. Uh, they recommend no more than three or four high. I recommend no more than two or three. It's made of 100% food grade plastic, BPA free, made in the United States, weighs 40 pounds, has a handle uh, when it's full, and it has a little dust plug on it, so if, if you're not using it, you just put the plug on to keep dust and dirt and contaminants from getting in. And then uh, uh, it comes with a cap, a wrench, and a spigot. The cap has a perforated uh, edge on it and the reason it looks like that is because when you tighten it up with the wrench it'll, it'll lock in place and then when you unscrew it this pops off of it. You know that it's been tampered with if this is broken off. It has a seal inside but uh, it, it also has a plug in the middle and it's, uh, it's supposed, you're supposed to be able to just remove it easily you know by, by uh, knocking it out so you can install the spigot. We, we ran into a problem with that. We couldn't just knock it out, but we have a solution in this video for that. Um, so you want, actually, I suggest doing this with a spare one right away. Don't, don't wait for an emergency to do this. Uh, get this put on right away so you have it to use. All right, so let's get started. The first step is to clean out the inside of the container. As per CDC guidelines, we are using one teaspoon of unscented bleach, nothing else in the bleach but bleach, to one quart of water. Just pour it in the container and swish it around and get it completely wet inside on all sides. Let it rest 30 seconds before emptying it. And then let it air dry after, you're, after you empty it or rinse it with treated water. All right, now you want to add your five gallons of water using a drinking water hose. And see the link below um, for more information about that. Now the next step is to disinfect the water that you just put in. As per CDC guidelines, what we're doing is adding um, eight drops of unscented bleach per gallon. And that turns out to be around just under a half a teaspoon uh, for the five gallons. And then tighten the lid up nice and tight and it's ready to store. Now when you want to use the water, you need the wrench to uh, remove the lid and you'll notice the bottom part of the lid uh, breaks away from the main part and that's to let you know it's tampered with. Now we want to put a spigot on this and they say all I have to do is pop the center out. Well that didn't work so well. Uh, we could not pop it out. So we used a three quarter inch wood boring spade bit and you can see the link below for that if you want information on it. And then we sanded it up to just clean it up. And then screw in the, uh, the spigot and tighten it up. Okay, one more thing we had to do. We didn't know that the uh, that there was no vent hole. You actually have to drill it out. Uh, we didn't want shavings in there, so we just used an awl and punched the hole. And something else we learned when we were using this to wash our hands 
um, it slid all over the place, and it's kind of it was kind of difficult to hold while with one hand and, and work it with the other hand. So we decided to use a um, a non-slip shelf liner. There, I'll have a link below for that if you want more info on it. And it it really worked well. It kept it from sliding around. And because um, when it gets low on water, it really slides around a lot. Uh, so the, when it gets low on water, we also needed to raise the back end up so that it would flow better. And we just put, put a spoon there, and it worked fine. And then don't forget to loosen the cap to get the better flow. The most frequently asked question regarding stored water is how long can I store my water safely? The short answer is six months, according to the CDC. And, uh, if, and that's if it's prepared correctly and stored at 70 degrees Fahrenheit or cooler. Now you'll see six months, one year, three years, all the way to five years, uh, and, and you're going to see it in the comments below. People are going to say the same kinds of things. Uh, but, you know, the, there's, the, the reason that you can't get it, uh, a solid answer on that is because there's so many variables. Uh, people have their own ideas and opinions uh, not based on science. And, um, and uh, some, some sites out there are afraid to say anything because they know that you may not have prepared it correctly or stored it correctly. And that will affect how long it, it can store. So six months is kind of the, uh, is, is what I go with. Now, we run our water through, um, through our Berkey water filter. So um, we do that because this water is stored in the garage. We have 24 of these. And it gets really hot in Texas in the garage. It's, it's way over 100 degrees. And so that, that's, that's why we run it through. And I, people say, well, then why are you going to treat it if you're just going to run it through, through the filter? And it's because I don't want to start with water that's algae, mold, bacteria. I want the cleanest water possible before I actually filter it. Otherwise, I just go to the lake and get, get water and throw it in the Berkey in, in that way. So, um, And if we refresh it in the wintertime, I don't, I don't mind drinking out of the canisters if they've been stored at uh, 70 degrees uh, Fahrenheit or cooler. So, and, that, and that has happened. Now, if, uh, if you post down here, please, you know, your opinions on this, please post... Where you uh, got where this where your source came from FDA C, uh, CDC FEMA or, or wherever and there is an alternative to uh, storing your water in a canister the alternative is bottled water it's probably one of the best sources of emergency water uh, out there now uh, the expiration date on these are, are usually way over a year and that's that's partially because um, of, of the rigorous sanitizing requirements for bottled water or for bottles and the water. So which one do you use? You need to consider a couple of things. First of all, storage. When you store bottled water, it, it, I've done it, it tends to crush if you put too much on top. They'll leak. Uh, you can bump them, they get damaged easier, and they take too much room. These stack, they're sturdier, and they don't take as much room. So. Uh, so I think, I think canisters win out on that one. Another consideration is the cost. One five gallon container of water is equivalent to about one and a half cases of 16.9 ounce bottled water, the 24 uh, pack. So 12 containers are basically equivalent to about 19 cases of water. And at, oh, let's just say $4 uh, a pack, that would cost $76. And at some point, you'll want to replace it. Uh, I know it lasts a long time and beyond the date, a lot of people say. But at one point, you'll want to replace it. And that's going to be another $76. So this could also be more cost effective because you're using tap water. If this has been a, a useful video, helpful for you, please like it, share it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And I want you to have a great day. And thanks so much for watching.